hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are here for the first time my name is Kristen in today's video I am going to be giving my backyard a much needed makeover it is summer and if the weather is warm so why not just redo this whole backyard so the kids can enjoy themselves outside as well as the adults so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around for future videos also share this videos with your friends and family that really helps out my channel a lot thank you guys so much as some of you may know from watching my previous video, my family and I just moved into this home about a couple weeks ago and compared to my old house, the backyard is super huge and is in desperate need of some tender love and care. As you guys can see, the patio is in need of some new paint. That is where I'm going to be starting first. I am just sweeping down the patio, trying to get all that dust and gravel off of the patio so my husband and I can begin painting the patio. Unfortunately, we, we don't have a pressure washer anymore, so I'm gonna have to be doing it the old fashioned way which is already a lot of work. We purchased this gallon of exterior gray paint from Walmart for $25. However, I refused to buy Walmart paint set for $9.97. So I went to the Dollar Tree and got the roller, the roller brush, and a baking pan for $1.25 each. It still worked out just as great as Walmart um, paint brush, I'm pretty sure. Um, we are going through an inflation, so wherever you can save and cut costs, hey.
it is now day two and my patio paint is all dry so i'm gonna get started on decorating my wall i got these basket from goodwill the smaller one is a dollar 49 and the medium sized one is two dollars and 49 cents i thought it would pair very nicely with my whole theme which is supposed to be boho chic I also got this wall art from Goodwill as well. It's a dream catcher, which is very boho. Um, it was $6.49. So I opted out at this time of buying a new dining table for outside. I'm gonna be reusing my Ikea three-piece bistro set, which I absolutely love. I purchased this set three years ago. For the life of me, I cannot understand how to get the chairs open i struggle with them every single time but it's a really cute little set Now I'm going to start working on my pathway to my fire pit area. I purchased these stone from Lowe's for $1.68. I figured why not put a fun little pathway to the fire pit area. The kids are going to love it and I absolutely love the way it turned out. I purchased about 10 of these by the way. So instead of buying more patio furniture for my fire pit area, I decided to create my own by placing cement bricks on top of each other and then placing two long boards on top of the cement bricks, creating seats for us to have somewhere to sit around the fire. And it actually turned out really well. Also, it was very inexpensive. The cement bricks cost $2.18 and the long board, I believe is 2 by 6 by 10 feet, that cost $7.86, which my husband used his saw to split the boards in two, creating a wider seating area. Right now, I'm using four bricks each, but I'm going to go back in and take off one of those bricks. So it's going to be three bricks each just to make the seating a little lower. But I'm going to show that later on in the video. Alan is mixing cement mix together. Then he's going to place a two by four into the cement mix just to create an anchor to hold up our lighting as well as the shade for the lounge area in which all the ingredients we got from home depot cement mix cost three dollars and 26 cents and the two by four cost three dollars and 18 cents if i'm not mistaking the flower pot we got from big lot for five or ten dollars Because my patio isn't long enough or wide enough, this is the area where I'm going to have my lounge slash sitting area for the whole family. 
So I'm just removing all the gravel so it can just have the plain dirt. And then I'm placing these stone down onto the ground just to create a pattern slash fun little pop for my sitting area. I'm not gonna be using a rug or fake grass. So these stones really gave it that look that I was looking for. So I'm really glad that I decided to do that. I do believe I need more stones, but for right now, I started out with six. I'm going to probably add three more. Guys, I did went back to Big Lot and purchased that patio set that I was telling you guys about. It came with a love seat, two chairs, and one coffee table for $384, and I'm so in love with this set. So this is the finished look of our lounge area. And guys, I must say, I'm in love. I love it. It's so peaceful. I just love the way it turned out. All the decor is from Goodwill, Walmart, Five Below, and the Dollar Tree. So I had to run to Lowe's to get some flowers for my outdoor, as well as some potting soil. So some of our kids decided to come out to help us patch in the holes with the gravel. Typical my daughter Kaija, she's there in her robe and her bonnet. But we all made several trips with that wagon trying to fill in all of the patches. So it is like the third day and we are still working on the backyard. It is coming along. Um, can't really see the vision right now because everything is just so messy, but I know it's coming along, so yep. So previously my husband built a bar um that was yellow it was very flimsy and could not withstand the wind so i decided to remake my bar area by using cement blocks and the same long board over the top which by the way turned out very nice and it was much more sturdier and i'm just replacing all the decor from before onto the bar my little moon crystal is all broken because the wind came and knocked down the yellow bar and kind of broke um, my moon crystal from my tear tray table. But this bar is sturdy and it's good, so it's gonna work out perfect. Excuse my um, tag for my pants in the back. My pants is a bit big and it couldn't fit, so I had to roll it up. So please do excuse the tag in the back that's showing. So sorry.
guys how nice is this big outdoor welcome rug i got it from home depot for nine dollars and 99 cents that's such a steal of a deal i decided to spray paint all the bricks for the sitting area black just to give it a little bit of color as well as my patio chairs that's gonna go in this area they are also gonna be spray painted black as well however nobody told me when you spray paint something for a while your fingers tend to hurt and it is a lot of work it is fun to spray paint but oh my god it's a lot of work So after complaining about my fingers and not spray painting the chairs well at all, Hubs took over and he did a wonderful job and my fingers got to relax. I got these beige seating pads from Walmart for $5.97 APs. They look very fluffy and comfortable. I'm hoping that they are, but by the looks of it, they look fluffy and very comfortable. Alright guys, this is pretty much the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around for future videos. Until next time guys, stay blessed, stay wonderful, stay positive. Love you guys. Bye.